Hi everybody, and welcome back to the Stone House. Little different video maybe. So this company, Indo, they make really good high quality storm windows. And they make them for old windows. I guess you could get one for a new window if you wanted to. But what it's gonna do for us at least, when we, when we order these, and they're very specific when you're ordering, it should give us an R value that's pretty comparable to like a brand new window, at least for the winter. I would say in the summertime, you take them right out. And that's what's really nice about these too, is they pop in and they pop out. It's, it's easy. When you contact them, the first thing they do is they send you this kit. And in the kit, oh yeah, you got a piece of it. <laughs> in the kit, you get this little lasery thing. This is to measure angles. We'll show you how it all works. This is the different type of acrylic they use, the different thicknesses, and some other things. So you use this kit and they give you, no joke, this reminds me of like an old SAT test for some reason, the a paper, the, the, I don't know. <laughs> but they give you a very detailed how-to guide. And I brought my team lead here because she can read technical things and understand it a lot better than me. So we're gonna do Jace's window first. Step one is you're just kind of preparing to get ready to measure. The first thing you need to do is you do need to decide where you're going to put these inserts. We could put the inserts in a couple different places. This is a cross section of what they look like. You can kind of see how the acrylic goes in and then the squishy part. That's a technical term. We need to decide right now, do we want to put these here? Or do we want to just go easily and just go like just right in here? We feel like this might be a little too far away from the window because you want it within one to four inches of your window. And maybe right here, I might be four inches from this bottom glass, but when you go up, this other window is farther away. That's more like six or seven inches away. So what we're gonna do is go probably an inch away from this window. So somewhere right around in there. This is a nice flat surface all the way around and it will even sit right on my sill, nice and flat. To make things easier on myself, I'm just gonna use this random piece of marble trim, which is exactly an inch and three quarters. I'm gonna use this kind of as a guide, so I know that I'm an inch and three quarters away from this window. They give you this fancy little laser, and I, I've got one almost just like this. They're pretty easy to use. They say to measure it twice, and make sure you're within a sixteenth of an inch. And if you're not, to keep measuring, making sure that you're on the correct step, shooting the laser across, until you're within a sixteenth of an inch for two measurements. The most important part is that the laser's flat against the wood and flat against my guide. And we're gonna shoot that. And it's gonna be 21 and 3 sixteenths because I built these and they're perfect. 21 and 1 30 second. I'm gonna do it again though. Oh, I think I hit my hand. 21 1 sixteenths. Interesting. How can it be that far different, you know? That's 40 inches exactly. <laughs> like exactly. They're gonna think I'm lying. 40 inches, exactly. I meant to do, that's what I wanted, 40 inches. Mm -hmm. Other side. Guesses? 40, okay, ready? Mm-hmm. 39 and three quarters. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's not. Not whole. <laughs> it's 40 and three 30 seconds. So it's 3 30 seconds off. That doesn't seem like a lot. <laughs> the next measurement is probably what intimidates most, if not everybody. And you have to get out this little thing. It's weird looking, I'll be honest, but the magnet that I just kind of told you about, it fits on there perfectly. There's no mistaking where this goes on to this device. It just, it, no, no guessing, right? And then what you do is you hold 
the red part in the corner of your windowsill and you're shooting a diagonal. This is screwed right here tight, so that really can't move now. And it's shooting the diagonal right, oh, right where it needs to. I shot it twice and I got 43 and a quarter. I hope you can read Sarah's handwriting. She's left-handed. Uh, these are the measurements. Oh, cool laser, huh? Don't break it, it's worth $175. You have to do a $175 deposit for the laser. The next thing to check is very difficult to show on camera, but what you do, they give you this little tape measure-y thing, but really it's just like a string that you're using. And what you're doing is you're kind of, you're trying to gauge whether or not the window has got some weird warp to it. I built these and I would just say that there's no possible way. You can imagine how an old window, if you didn't just fix them like we did, an old window could easily have some weird cuppage or bowing or crowning or something, but these don't, so we're good there. We're on to Jace's other window. Once you're done with your measurements, you simply go on to this link that they send you through email and you put all the measurements in for approval. We'll go on the computer website, we'll enter all this information, and then we ship them their laser kit back, and we wait. We go from there. But you won't have to wait because I'm not going to release this video until we get them. So see you in three or four weeks. <laughs> Hi everybody. It's been two or three weeks? Mm -hmm. Two or three weeks since we last touched these windows, and as you can see, One of the things we've really liked about the company is they've had really, really great prompt customer service, which is hard to find sometimes. All right, I just, for the lack of a better term, kind of wrestled with the first one. And it's not because they're wrong or bad, or... it's just new to me. They're a tight fit. I can't say that it's easy to get these into place. But once they're in place, like that one's in place pretty good, they're in there, they're tight. The corners are what I'm most worried about. They're a little compact in there, but they're tight. No air is getting through there. So that's probably the point. Okay. I think I got better at it. Yeah, it's something that I think you can get better at. And you know, you just can't be fussy about it, which I am fussy about every stuff. What do you mean you can't be fussy about it? Well, you know, you can't be like, oh, I mean, <laughs> you just kind of kind of put it into place and then it, it looks good. Yeah, I like it. You really can't even see them. Quite satisfying. It really is. They're really, really clear. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, what do you think? I think they look really good. Definitely want to say thank you to Indo. So, if you're interested in getting some window inserts from Indo, there's going to be a link in the description. Check it out. I can't say anything negative about the process. Really cool. Yeah, very awesome. exciting. So that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for watching everybody. Okay, now you can say it. Bye. Bye. We'll see you next time we turn the camera on. See you next week. See you next week. <laughs> A big thank you to Indo for working with us with these inserts. We love them. We're actually kind of excited for winter this year. Um, and a big thank you for all of you for watching. And again, if you want to possibly get some Indo inserts for yourself, check the link out in the description. As always, we appreciate your support. And, you know, we're going to see you on the next video. Everybody have a great week.